for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome to our video series on creating CSS layouts with Dreamweaver CS5. In this video series, we're going to see how to create a simple two-column layout with a left menu. You can see here the example that we're working with. I've gone ahead and created a header section here, a content section, a left navigation, and a footer. And this is all contained in a div called wrapper. This is actually where we're at right now. We've gone ahead and added all the HTML, including some navigation menu items here and some content. And we're ready to start using CSS to begin to format this. So let's go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver and begin to format this item. I'm going to come in here to two, two fix CSS. This is a CSS file that is attached to our um, source HTML file. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin to add some information in here. Now I predefined some of my divs so that as I was coding the HTML in Dreamweaver, the IDs would automatically come up for me. But to start off with, I want to go ahead and add um, some global styles. So I'm going to go ahead and I like comments in my uh, style sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and put a comment in. You can always put whatever you want in a comment just by enclosing it in these special brackets. A slash followed by a, an asterisk. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to zero out the borders, padding, and spacing on all of my items. That way I know I'm dealing with the same no matter what. I'm going ahead and zeroed out that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a background color to the body. So I'll go ahead and select the background color option there. And I'm just going to select a really light yellow, something we can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out of that style. Just like that. And now we're going to come back in here to the source code and go into design view and you'll see in either design view or live view changes that have been made. You can see the yellow background as well as the removing of any margin on any items. So there's no longer any margin space between the header and the navigation or between the navigation and the article or between the article and the uh, copyright statement. Let's go back into this and begin to change some things around here. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to define the width of this layout. And in this case, we're going to have a 600 pixel um, fixed width layout. So I'm going to go ahead and do the width property and I'm going to type 600 pixels. I'll save that and probably won't see it right there, but I'm going to go ahead and go into Google Chrome here and refresh my page and you'll see some changes right there the yellow, but you're also going to notice that the margin has been cut off at 600 pixels. Let's come back in here, and I want to do one other thing. I want to center all the content on the page and make sure that there's no margin on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do margin here, and <clears throat> remember, if we want to specify the top and the bottom, and then the left and the right, excuse me, if you want to specify the top and the bottom along with the left and the right, you just put two values in. I'm going to say zero pixels for top and bottom. And since I want my content to be centered on the page, I'm going to go ahead and say auto. And save it. Come back in here to Google Chrome and refresh. And now you'll see that the page is now centered. It has no margin on the top or the bottom. So the next thing that we want to do is, let's work with our header here a little bit. Now I don't have to define the width of the header because the header is inside of this wrapper. So it's automatically going to be limited to 600 pixels. So the only thing I want to do here right now is add a background color and some padding. And the background color, I'm going to use my color palette here. 
come in here and simply select a light blue just like that save it and now you'll see that that blue is on the top but I also want to put some or some padding around this and I'm going to say 20 pixels of padding will be enough and when I click there's my header and again we'll go ahead and take a look at that in Google Chrome there's my header area now since we don't have to do much of the footer let's do the footer next I'm going to go ahead and actually highlight and copy these because the background color for the footer as well as some of the spacing is going to be the same as the header and now I'm just going to paste that on in there but I am going to go ahead and reduce the amount of top and bottom margin so I'm going to go ahead and say that this should be 10 pixels. The 20 pixels really doesn't matter because we don't have that much content in here. And we're going to go ahead and say text align. And the text align property will be centered. So now that is centered on my page. And again, we'll look at that in Google Chrome and you'll see that it comes out. Now the only thing I want to do at this point is sort of space out my content area. I don't want it up right up against the edge right now. So I'm going to put 20 pixels of padding so it lines up with my page header up here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll on up here. And I'm going to find the footer sec or the content section. And I'm going to go ahead and say the padding around this section should also be 20 pixels. And that way my headings line up with one another. And there you have it. So I've added some padding onto the content area. In our next video, we're going to talk about this navigation here. And we're going to basically turn this into a left-hand navigation and then do some rollover effects. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.